Okay, um, as said before, my name is Thomas Krimmel. I'm a first year undergraduate student at the University of California, Santa Barbara. And today I'm going to be teaching you um, how to organize your smartphone and why it's important. So, uh, first of all, I have broken this down to a science. PA, prioritize, aggregate, and aestheticize. And just to jump right into it, let's start with prioritize. Um, usually on the apps, when they're put on your phone, they're put in a chronological order. And that's not exactly the best thing for our phones because we don't think about our apps chronologically oh, I downloaded Instagram after Facebook. It just doesn't work that way. So what we have to do to organize our phones is figure out what apps we use most often and place them at the beginning of the phone. Um, as I have up here, this is my phone. Um, I use Instagram, Gmail, uh, Snapchat a lot, almost on a daily basis, so I put it at the beginning of my phone. But if we did this by organizing our phone and having you know, the apps and the, the way that we use them and the procession that we use them, we would have tens, hundreds of pages even. So, for the apps that we don't use on a daily basis, we take them and agglomerate or aggregate them into groups. So, for example, I have my resources app where I put things that I don't use on a daily basis into a single place. This allows me to store things inside of a smaller space while still being able to find them very, you know, fairly easily. But even though we might organize and sort a phone into different groups, we also need to recognize that aestheticization is a very important part of, you know, having an organized and happy phone. Um, whether it just be like an image of the UCSB lagoon at sunset or an image of your family or a dog, it's important to put something that makes you happy every time you look at your phone so that your phone isn't just something that you use to answer emails with, but rather something that you know, gives you a little smile each day. So although it's a pretty easy, toss, or a, a pretty easy process to organize your phone, uh, the benefits to these you know, are immense. Uh, let's start with the first benefit, which is obviously a time saver. Although it might not seem like it, organizing your phone over a long period of time can save you a lot of time. So instead of scrolling through endless pages of apps, you can simply find what you need, where it is, and have it when you need it. The second part, or the second benefit to organizing your phone is organizational skills. The simple fact is, is if your phone is organized, other things in your life are organized too. It's a continual practice. You can have your Excel sheets organized, or MXDs organized, and that's just something that, you know, it's good practice. And the third one is stress-free. It relieves stress in your life and allows you to, you know, instead of just, you know, drawling through emails, through daily basis, simply see what makes you happy every day. And although it might seem like a simple task to organize your phone, whether it be after these speeches, a week from now or a month from now, I urge you to take out your phone and organize it. Because no matter how simple it might seem, it's an immensely beneficial task for everyone in the long run. Thank you.